Hello and welcome back to Rust 101. My name's Andy, this is video 47. We are doing exercises to help understand some stuff about using unsafe Rust. Uh, today we're doing exercise two, which is about exec VE. We're gonna be using pointers and things just in kind of normal code um, because the exec VE function uh, requires us to pass in pointers. So we've got to uh, do it. So uh, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing much to say here. So let's just look at the code. If we have a look at the readme, what it tells us to do is to build this executable called log. So cargo build minus minus bin log. This is just building the log executable. I've already built it actually. Um, if we have a look at to what that is, this log thing is not um, it's not part of the exercise. It's just a demonstration program we're using to. Uh, this is going to be the program we call from inside our code that we're actually writing. So this is just an incredibly simple program. We're not going to change. It goes through all of its environment variables and prints them out. It goes through, sorry, it goes through all of its arguments and prints them out. And it goes through all of its environment variables and prints them out. That's all it does. We've already built it. We can now just forget it. It's just a, a useful thing. Um, and uh, the real program is this main. So let's run it by doing cargo run. And uh, it does some stuff. It prints out arguments and variables. So maybe it's running lib. So let's have a look at what it does. So it has a main function. It gets hold of the, the path of the current executable and then um, modifies that to be like the same path, but with log at the end. So now it's going to run the log. Uh, the, now this path is going to be the path of that log executable we were just looking at. Then it creates a C string out of it, and then it calls libc exec ve, and it passes in this uh, as putter of the C string in there, and then a couple of null pointers. So exec ve, basically what we're, what this exercise is, is learning how to call exec ve uh, with the correct arguments. So what exec ve takes in is a C underscore char, a po well rather, a const pointer to a C underscore char, and then another one, and then another one. But the meaning of those, we still need to figure out. It needs to go inside an unsafe block, basically because anytime we're calling some C code like this, we don't know what it's going to do with memory or anything else, so it's unsafe. That's pretty easy for us to understand this time, uh, because we're passing in raw pointers, so we know, we know it's going to be pretty risky. And then, basically, we shouldn't ever get here because... Get here, sorry. Because... Exec V like hands off control completely to that other process. So, um, it, it calls that lib, that log, for, um, XE that we just looked at. And when we ran it, we see that it does it. It did actually do that. It went off and it printed arguments and variables because that's what the log program does. So it is successfully running, um, like launching this separate process to run log or rather, I guess, transferring control from this process to, um, to this completely different program. Oh, there's no documentation on this exactly function, which would be useful. Okay, so let's continue with our readme. So yes, it does print out arguments variables. Oops. I executed the log binary. Here's the signature, which we just looked at. So path name is a null terminated string. And argv is a null terminated array of null terminated strings. And uh, an envp is also that, but the elements are actually got, have got a key equals value structure inside them. So, um, we haven't talked much about null terminated strings in this series of videos. Um, Rust strings are not null terminated. Rust knows exactly how long each string or strut is. Um, and that's how it knows where, when to stop reading it. But in C and C++ and possibly some other places, um, when you use a string, you need to have a zero uh, byte at the end of it so that it knows where it's got to the end. Um, and that way you can pass around strings just using one pointer. You don't need to know the size because you just go forward until you hit that zero. Um, but uh, we haven't been working with strings like that, and we need to um, figure out how they work. And especially these null terminated arrays are going to be interesting and exciting. All right, so when doing this exercise, be careful that sequences have null termination in the right point. Um, otherwise, things will go wrong. Maybe we should like try it out and see if we can get it to crash when we do it wrong. String should end in a null byte, and array should end in a null pointer. So, first part of the exercise, pass the executable path. 
The first argument to an executable should be the path itself. We already have the executable C string. You can get a raw pointer from C string with the as putter. And as putter also works on slices and vectors. Again, both strings and arrays must be null terminated, and the C string type already guarantees that its bytes end in a null byte. If the argument is applied correctly, cargo run should show something similar to blah. Okay, so let's try and do that. Um, so the point is, the way exec v works and generally launching processes on Unix works is that you give it an executable and you also give it a list of arguments, but the first of those list of arguments should itself be um, the the path of the executable. And sometimes those are different, but for our purposes, they're the same. So um, this this second argument here is going to be a list of null terminated string. That's what it said. So let's make a list. We'll call it args. And let's make, let's make just an array. Uh, sorry, rather a slice, uh, an array slice, I guess, um, which has, let's do it first of all, let's make it empty and pass it in and see what happens, right? So I think this will crash because it's supposed to be a null terminated array and we're passing in something that isn't. I think it said, yeah, you can use as putter on a slice like this. So this is a slice. We're calling as putter on it. And there's an error. Uh, what's the error? Expected field name or number. I feel like that's not not a real error. Let's try it here. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what the um, what my editor is saying. It's it's wrong about there being a problem here. It's, the code's compiling fine, um, but something went wrong. We received an operating system error, code fourteen, bad address. Um, so I think what that means is that this is not a null terminated array. So let's make it into a null terminated array, like so. Maybe that error was actually warning us about um, what we were doing wrong. So now we've made an array that only contains a zero, right? Now we can run, and everything's fine. We haven't solved the exercise yet because we're supposed to pass in uh, an argument, not just an empty array. So let's pass in executable dot as putter. So now we're making args is an array a null terminated array with one thing, an actual thing in it, and then an, a null at the end. Um, so now I think args is correctly formatted, so that with any luck, we'll get what we expected, which is arguments now says the first uh, uh, command line argument you gave me was this path to um, our executable. So let's double check whether we're on track. Yeah, so that's the, the same stuff's happened here. So we, uh, we've managed to pass in a null terminated array containing a null terminated string. So uh, let's do a quick um, diversion to ask why is our string null terminated? So the reason is that C string is a thing that already always makes us have a null terminated string. So when we created this new C string, we gave it a str and it added on that, that zero byte at the end of it. Or at least when we as putter it, it does. I think it does do it when you knew it. I'm not sure. Um, we needed a few unwraps here because some things can go wrong. Not sure exactly what could go wrong with new. Function will consume the provided data, use the underlying bytes to construct a new string, ensuring there's a trailing zero byte. There you go. This trailing zero byte will be appended by this function. The provided data should not contain any zero bytes in it. Ah, oh, so I think it will fail if you did give it some stuff with zero bytes in it, I think. Function will turn an error if the supplied bytes contain an internal zero byte. Fine. Okay, so that's why we're unwrapping here, because um, if our path already had a zero byte in it somehow, it would fail. Okay, so we've done the first exercise. What's the next one? Pass in an environment variable. So it wants us to create a new C string that represents... Um, some kind of environment variable, let's say foo equals bar, and pass it in. So let's do that. So let um, uh, var equals c string new foo 
equals bot. Now that's the format that they, they're supposed to have. Oh, I can't type. Um, like so. Now we need, this is going to give us back a result, I think. So we want to unwrap that because we know that it doesn't contain any zero bytes. So now we have a variable. But now we need an, a, another null terminated array. So we're going to use vado as putter, and then we're going to put in um, an null pointer at the end, like so. And we're going to use vars here. So that now, oh no, that's not going to work. It needs to be vars as putter, doesn't it? So now we're passing in. The actual executable to run, the list of arguments to that executable, which at the moment is just that zeroth argument, which means um, the executable path. It could be anything, but it's almost always the executable path. And then a list of environment variables, which has just got this one thing in this handmade list that we've made. Okay, so let's run it. We can see it worked. That was what we were supposed to get. Um, it prints out foo colon bar. So it's parsed foo equals bar and given us foo colon bar. So like those environment variables have actually like correctly been processed by the, the exact the machinery or by the process creation machinery of the operating system or something. All right. So that was the kind of warm up. And now it, what it wants us to do what we really want to do, which is when we pass in arguments, we want those arguments to come out. Again, so when we pass in arguments to our fun to our code, we want the arguments to come out of log, so they get passed all the way through, and also any environment variables that we have. Um, when we run, we want those to be printed out by the program. And this is the end of the exercise. So the first argument should still be that path, and we need to make sure that all the C string values live long enough, which is interesting. We'll have to think about that. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So I think so we've been making these array slices. And I think we're going to need to make um, like a vec to hold these things because they're going to be variable length. So let's first of all think about the args. So let's say arg should be a vec. Well, hang on. Let's let's make a, a, a some kind of vec out of. Um, I think it stood env args. So what is std env args? It is an args, which I think is something you can iterate through. So let's collect it. So now we've got hold of all our environment variables and we've collected them. We better tell it what we're going to collect them into. A vec of I don't care what. Um, actually, what is it a vec of? A vec of string. So we're going to want a vec eventually of C string, aren't we? So why don't we just say that here and then it'll keep us honest. And now we can't collect a vec of... Um, string into a vec of c string without doing something to it so let's do a map and then every string that we get given let's turn it into a c string now maybe we can just do s dot into and it'll just automatically turn it into a c string for us no it doesn't like that i guess we can do oh what does it say what does it say it says um no all right so let's, ma let's just make a c string c string oh it could be trying to couldn't it Trying to, and then unwrap that because we think these are all always going to. Well, I guess we, we could crash this by turning into. Oh no, there's no trying to either. Okay, I mean maybe. Oops, that's not how you spell that. Um, maybe we turn it into a str, then we we can try into a c string. Nope. No, all right, so back to the drawing board. Let's try C string new. We saw we can definitely make a C string from um, a str. Um, and then we're just going to unwrap it. So this could go wrong, this unwrap. Uh, in fact, let's say expect uh, argument contained a zero byte. So this shouldn't happen normally. Oops, it's not equal zero. Um, but if one of our command line arguments to this program contained a zero byte, then this um, C string new would fail and give us back an error. Okay, so now we've got a vec of C string. 
um, which is not quite what we want because a it needs to be null terminated, uh, and b it, we need uh, a slice, I guess. So first of all, let's let's just add our null pointer. Like so. And this means this needs to be mutable. And we can get rid of this thing now. Oh, and we've missed out. We've missed out the executable. So, how are we going to do that? There's my, oh, I guess... Can we do something cleverer than this? Just for fun, let's try and do something cleverer. And let's make an iterator that has all the stuff in it. Alright, so, let's try this. Um, so we're going to make an iterator, called, we'll call it args, which is going to be some kind of um, uh, iter um, How do you make an iterator that is just one thing? Let's do a bit of googling. Um, create an iterator from a single element. Oh, iter once looks like it stood iter once. That's what we want. Okay, so I was along the right lines. So we want um, the executable as our first thing. And then we're going to chain. Well, hang on. Let's make this compile. We need to import iter. Yeah, like so. Now, onto that, we're going to chain another iterator, which is going to be studenv args. So why am I doing this? Because it feels nice to have an iterator that we just collect into a vector. Um, okay, so... Ah, oh, this is a... This shouldn't be a putter yet. So this should just be executable. Now, it's a C string. We need to convert these... Um, are we going to convert them into C strings later? Yeah, so let's not, let's not make executable into a C string yet. Let's make it into a str. And then the args are also strs, I hope. No, they're strings. So, um, I guess we need to, oh, well, how, hold on, is string what is string? Is string a, is path a string? That's no, a path buff. Um, let's just turn it into a string. Let path equal path dot to string maybe to string glossy. Um, now I feel like uh, I feel like we're doing things wrong. Right, let's go back to. Um, having these things be references to str. So let's, let's map these to, so this argument's currently a string. We can do, turn it into a reference. Now we can chain these things together because now args here is an iterator of str. Uh, reference to str. Okay. So what, so ch what chain does is it, it joins two iterators together. So we've got an iterator with one thing in it. Then we're chaining on an iterator of all the arguments. And now we just need to chain on one more, which is going to be another iter once with our null pointer in it. Like so. Now we hopefully have got an iterator of str. Um, oh, hold on. What's going wrong? Oh, no. these oh, We can't do that unless we turn them all into pointers right here. Okay, okay, let's try it. As putter on this. And as putter on... Oh, no, no, we need to make this into a C string and then, and then make a pointer to it. So, we got a string. We'll turn it into a C string. Oh, now, and here's where we hit our problem. Because we want to as putter this immediately. Okay, so this doesn't work. Okay, so I've been... I've been writing some extra complicated code just for fun, which it doesn't work because when I turn this C string into a pointer here, 
So we can unwrap it and make a C string, and that's fine. Um, but when I make it, um, when I then make it into a pointer, no one's going to own that C string properly. It's all going to go pear shaped. So it's a nightmare. So let's do this better. We want a we want a slice which is null terminated, um, but someone somewhere has got to own the memory behind it. So this is a little bit tricky, isn't it? Well, let's start off with the easy bit. So let's make a vector, which is, uh, shall we make a vector of C string? Let's make it a vector of C string. Um, and let's just put the executable into it. And let's just put this into a C string like it was before. Like so. So now we've got, if I can type Rust, we've got args, which is a vec of C string, and it's going to be mutable because we're going to then add stuff onto it. So then we can extend it with um, std env args, except they need to be turned into C strings. So it's basically, get rid of the as putter part here, it's basically this stuff. Like so. So, before get rid of that for a second, just think about this. So now args is a still a vec of C string. And it owns all of the stuff inside it. So that's fine. Um, what we're going to want is a slice, which is one longer. Um, so if I say args dot as putter what does it actually do returns a raw pointer to the vectors buffer so we actually want something that's one longer than that so I think we're going to call we're going to make a new let's for now at least let's make a new vector um, args putters which is a vec um, with capacity, one more than args. And then we're going to push into it pointers to all the things in args. So now args is going to live long enough that nothing's going to go wrong. That's my thinking here. So this is better be mutable, I guess. Um, we're going to extend args from an iterator, which is going to be iterate through args. Don't consume it, so not into iter, because we need args to keep owning things. And then each element in args, which is a C string, we're going to just as putter it. And now, um, Args, we want args to be a vec of putter. Um, so this is going to be, it's going to be pointed, so it's going to be star c string, I guess. No, what does as putter return? Star const c underscore char, that's what we want. So we want a vector of c char which we'll better bring in, I guess it's lib c c char. Well, so it, it'll go like exec v won't work properly unless we do the right thing here. So um, let's just have a quick look. The c char that it's using here uh, uh, could be could be the one that I found. It could be a different one. We'll see. I don't understand that. Okay, so now we have a a vec of pointers. Um, uh, 
So we're iterating through arcs. We've got a string here. S is a C string, a reference to a C string. Then we as putter it, it gives back as a reference to a const C char. Um, okay, and then the type of the return pointer is either a const star const i8 or a const star const u8, which is why our error message is mentioning const i8, I think. But it's saying it expected a closure that returns C string. That's the part I don't understand. I, I want to return a, a star const i8, or whatever it is, like one of these pointers. Oh, it's because we're using it later. Okay. I think. So f that might be, you know, that might be what's going wrong. Yeah. Okay. So now, args, I'm still complaining. Let's see. Um, Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay. I finally got there. Uh, viewer, I'm, I hope you weren't too frustrated watching me. I was uh, extending the wrong vector with this stuff. So now args putter is a vec of const c char and args putters can now be passed into exec v. Now exec executable as putter doesn't work anymore because, uh, why not? Oh, because executable has already been borrowed. So let's just clone this. Assuming you can clone a C string. Yep. All right. So now args has got its own copy of executable. So now we can do whatever we want with the original executable. Args is a list of a vec of C strings. Args putters is a vec of pointers to those C strings. And it does not have a null pointer at the end. So we should crash when we run this. We do. And we've got another bad address. Uh, okay, and we've also brought in it, which we don't need anymore. So, um, we crash because args putter doesn't have a null pointer at the end. So we'd better put a null pointer at the end. Um, no, not, no, we just want push. Stood putter null. So now we've made a vec that actually owns our C strings so that they, they stay alive long enough. And then a vec that is just pointers to those C strings with a null pointer added onto the end. And then we pass in those pointers to the thing. So now it should work. And it does, but the first argument to passed into our program was the the path of our program so we don't want that in there and also let's try just giving it some more arguments here okay so the abc come out right but if we check our readme we shouldn't be printing out oh hold on first argument should still be the path to log but uh, this looks like a bug to me because their first argument isn't the path to log it's the path to our exercise so i think there's a bug in these slides not in this readme um so let's do the right thing, which is we want all the arguments apart from the first one, because the first argument we were given here, um, hold on. Yeah, the first argument we're given here, this args, stood n for args, uh, is the path to our executable, which we don't actually want. So let's just skip the first one, which I think we can do by... Is there a skip? Yeah, skip one. So skip that first argument and then take all the other arguments, put them into our into our vec. Like so. And now it looks, I think, how it should look, which is the first argument is the log and then the other arguments are the things that we were passed. And by the way, if we put in a null in here, like so, I think that might be a way of doing that. Or maybe, maybe we can run a separate program to do it. Okay, I can't make it work. Um, I think if we could somehow pass in a, a zero byte, 
Maybe one more backslash. No. If we could somehow pass in a zero byte, I think we would crash. And we would crash when we try and turn it into a C string. Um, because this would be like, uh, one of our args contains a zero byte. So I'm sure there's a good way of doing that, but you just have to believe me that I'm pretty sure, uh, that's where it's going to go wrong. All right. So we've managed to pass through all the arguments to our function. Um, pass it through to our executable that we're running here. But let's look for all the environment variables that were given to our function. I think it's going to be really similar now. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a vector to hold on to them, and then another vector of pointers with a null at the end. And I, I can't think of a better way of doing this than that, but maybe you can. Leave a comment if you can. All right, so... First of all, we're going to just have exactly the same structure. So uh, we're going to have a load of variables, which is going to be a vec of C string, because that's the actual type of these things. And it's going to be, um, I think it's just going to be an empty vector to start off with. Um, and it's going to be mutable. And then, I mean, I guess in this case, we can just start, we don't need to start off with an empty vec. We can actually, um, immediately, std env vars, we can immediately just take the variables, environment variables we've been given. Um, I don't need to skip one or anything like that. And then what is this v? Um, let's see. Oh, I can't figure out what v is yet. So, and, and oh, that's because I missed a colon. That should help us. Um, so it, uh, it's a it's a pair of string comma string. So let's just say name comma value, like so. And we need to return a string, which is name equals value, which has then been turned into a C string. So it's going to be C string new. Um, and then let's just say an environment variable contained a contained a zero byte and we are going to pass in a string which we'll make with format and then we'll um, take a reference to it and it's just going to be name equals value like this I think name equals value so format creates a string and then, oh, we've got the expect in the wrong place here. We've lost a bracket somewhere. Um, oh, this needs a collect. Now, what are we doing wrong? C string new expects a stro, right? Oh, anything that can be converted into a vec of u8. So format returns a string. And, all right, so maybe we should be giving this a string, not a... Okay, that's in, okay. So that's interesting. So here, C string new can take in um, a, a reference to str, but I guess that's like static or something. Not sure why, but here C string new needed us to give it a string, which it can then turn into a vec of u8. And when I gave it a reference to a string. I guess that's too many conversions. If I do do as str on this, so it knows the type of it, maybe it's okay with that. Yeah, yeah, okay. The problem here was that ampersand before the format was a reference to a string. So it has to know, okay, I can turn a reference to a string into an ampersand str, and then I can turn that into a vec of UA, and that is a suitable argument for C string new. Um, okay, so that was um, a little bit of excitement for you, but basically format gives us a string. Uh, so we can turn that into a C string, which means put, uh, make a new, allocate a new, um, set of bytes and put a zero on the end for us. So now we've got one string that says name equals value for the environment variable we were given, 
which consisted of a name and a value as a pair, because that's how vars returns them. We turn them into C strings, any of them have a zero byte, we crash. We collect it all up. Now we've got a vector of C string, so very similar to what we had above. So now we can make a vector of pointers. So interestingly, this could be kind of wrapped up as a function, couldn't it? We could even make a struct called C array or something like that, right? Which is like similar to C string, but it, uh, where we guarantee that it's null terminated. Um, so let's just not do that and see if we can get this working. Oops. So this should be everywhere we see the word args. We should change it to vars, like so. And then vars putters here. This doesn't need to be mutable because we did it all in one line, because we're clever. And now we uh, have a, a vec of pointers to pointers to C strings, which is null terminated. So now we can pass in vars here. And with any luck, when we run it with some sensible arguments, we'll get out all of our environment. So we got the same stuff before. The first argument is the executable path, and then the other arguments, and then all of the um, environment variables that I happen to have in my environment right now, which I did check before I made this video that it was okay to show you my environment variables. Uh, I think it is. Let me know if it's not. Um, so I think we've done the task. Let's double check with the readme. Uh, that's the end of that. All right, so that was it. So basically, calling exec ve requires us to prepare our arguments in sensible ways. This needs to be a null terminated string, and we've got this C string struct, which makes that fairly easy. Um, and then we've got these arrays that have a null at the end of the array that are also made out of pointers to C strings, which themselves have a null at the end. And we definitely see ourselves building some kind of structure here of just like there's a C string, maybe there should be a C array struct, which guarantees you've always got a null pointer at the end of your your thing. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, back soon with the last exercise on unsafe. See you then.